UK Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. Let me copy this value. Let me look at uh, if we have in uh, this one uh, cookies. So this is the value directly showing here, here as part of the request itself. It's one minute, it's a bit confused here. It's there here as part of response, but we are getting on this. Sir, let me search. Now, can you all of you it is showing as part of one of the response? So, uh, you know, you probably may ask how, how you are concluding this is a response. Are you getting the, that kind of question, how you are concluding this is a, a response? Basically, you know, generally response is showing like, you know, as part of some HTML, HTML tags here. This is called as HTML related. Okay, so it's, that is what I am saying. It's it generally comes through the experience. Once you start understanding, once you closely you know uh, dig into the things, you will understand. This is basically a response here. Now we'll try to find its response here. So here, this is a part of the response. So on this. Now, here it is saying a response for transaction with ID 31 here. Okay. So, now here you have to find the add event for this uh, transaction 31. Now, see here add event for transaction 31, which is nothing but what is it? No, it is saying add event is ended over here. Let we have to find the uh, start. Yep. Yep. Again, which is nothing but as part of eBay.com only we are getting this value. Okay. So again, I know this is the value which is coming as part of eBay.com only. So it means. No, for this for in this request only we are getting this particular value. And now let me take. And I hope this is the fifth value, right? In the, uh, in the other case, we got the fourth one. In the other action, we got the fourth one. Now, this is the fifth value. Again, uh, now find the dynamic value here. I mean, find the left boundary, right boundary. We can see a lot of values, right? <coughs> here we see a lot of the things. Okay. Now, let me copy this. Uh, no, I'm just copying this particular value here. Now this is the value. Now I am going to treat this as a here I am just selecting this particular value. I am going to select, I am going to treat this as a left boundary and right boundary will be this. Okay. And moreover here mainly our concentration should be like in this request only we have to see if we have uh, this dummy value. So let me go to the starting of this request. Now let me here use control F. Let me try to find this left boundary. 
No, I hope it is uh, recognizing, I mean it is identifying the value that we want. Right? I hope it is uh, letting, what is the value? But this is the value that we wanted to identify, so it is it is identifying in the same place over here. So we will be capturing this value here. Okay? So here again left boundary will be this. Okay, item some size and all. And right boundary will be two double uh, this one, two semicolons. Okay. Now we'll replace this correlation. Now here uh, we'll replace this dummy value here. Now everyone agree. I'm just selecting this particular value. this one. Okay. Now action is done. Now let me go to sign in. Now see here. Here uh, uh, in the sign in we don't have this one, right? See here I am trying the same thing in the sign in and user end. Here we will try to again uh, because this is the correlation parameter which we observed in the first sign-in. I mean, uh, in the first, uh, what we say? One minute. This is the dynamic value, right? Wherever you find this particular dynamic value, you want it to replace. So, we will be mentioning this particular value here. Yeah. Fine. So, here like this. Uh, you can also auto, uh, you can also correlate the other parameters here. Where is this uh, action? And here we have uh, I think we have we'll be having one more parameter here. Oh, it seems we have uh, we have correlated everything here. We'll we'll observe again from the starting here. So basically, our uh, main I can say here this is the place where our uh, recording has been started. Okay, here I uh, don't see, this is one parameter, maybe we need to look into the things. Maybe this is the only parameter, it seems to be one parameter that we need to correlate. We will come back to this particular parameter. Okay, and we will see if we have any other correlated uh, co uh, dynamic values here in the script. Okay, we observe here in action. Uh, then the next part is sign in. Now we will go to the observe here in the sign in. Maybe in here in the sign in also as of no I think you know the, uh, here also we have only uh, uh, this particular parameter to automate uh, to sorry correlate. Mm, we'll scroll down here. We'll go to this uh, visor end, and here also we don't have any parameter. Basically, if you see our extension is PNG. You know, you see something like you know a PNG or JPG. Basically, those are the image files. You can you can ignore them. Okay. Now, however, uh, I think you know this is the only parameter that is left, and basically it seems this is also part of uh, you know which is also part of uh, this action here. But however, again we'll try to search for search for this particular uh, dynamic value. Now see here. Now this is the place where you can I can see this dynamic value here. Now again find the respective uh, uh, request. So this is the part of the response. So now we are trying to find the respective res uh, request over here. Okay. Again, which is transaction that key uh, ID. If you remember, this is nothing but uh, that eBay.com. So we have to see add event for uh, transaction uh, 31 here. Now see here, which is nothing but eBay.com. Can you have here? This is part of eBay.com. So now just keep one more parameter, one more uh, correlation parameter. Now see here, this is going to be 6 over here. So 
So it seems you know six dynamic values are appeared in this particular uh, uh, application over here. Okay. And again, let me go here and let me search for this uh, dynamic value for the purpose of uh, uh, this one, the left boundary and right boundary. Okay. Now let me capture uh, part of this. I'm just capturing part of this particular value over here. Now everyone observe here, you can see the same value 49632 here and you can also observe here also. Okay. But however, you know, uh, for this, uh, here we have a good uh, left boundary here. So here, I can make use of this This as a left boundary and right boundary you can directly use semicolon over here. Okay. So let me use left boundary here. Here we are doing some wrong, something wrong here. Mm, here it should be double quotation and R B equal. No, no, sorry, sorry. One minute, one minute. Why I have used double quotation here? I should not write. I think I have to use double quotation here and see here. This is the left boundary over here. Okay. Now you just uh, now replace this particular value. Okay. So just replace this particular value by this correlation parameter over here. Now let me go to this sign in also. Now let me replace all these values. Now let me go to this user end. Let me replace. No. Now let me save this particular script. Okay. Now we have uh, now uh, correlated all the uh, uh, all the dynamic values in this particular script. We got around six uh, dynamic values in this particular script over here. And here we have co we have come across four dynamic values here itself. Okay. Another two in the other request. Now we'll try to execute this particular script. And here, before I execute, everyone observe here. Uh, let me go to replay. Here, runtime settings. Here, observe here log. Let me select external log parameter substitution. Why I am selecting this parameter substitution? Any cases? Did you remember this log file? Did you remember this particular setting and all? I think you know it's been two weeks or three weeks ago we have discussed this one. Yeah, basically what I am trying to say here, here uh, we are trying to uh, uh, capture the log file for the generation of this one. Okay, uh, Whenever the, we have captured this dynamic values and we are keeping these dynamic values in uh, wherever we require. Right? We have uh, replaced all the dynamic values with this correlation parameters. Right? So now here I wanted to see what is the value that is being captured as part of correlation. So whenever you say parameter substitution, it is going to so wherever it has been replaced. Now let me execute this one. We would have comment this one. We would have comment this extra. Oops, I forgot again. I uh, know I have a class uh, at ten thirty. I mean, uh, I have a class at uh, one uh, one pm EST. I think you know uh, this is that. Uh, uh, I hope I'm correct, right? I uh, know this is the power class we are spending. I mean, fully on uh, uh, 
this one correlation i think this is a power class right exclusively on uh, correlation i think we have been uh, discussing correlation from last three classes right i remember like that i hope you uh, know we have been discussing correlation from last three including this you uh, know i think three classes Yes, including this, you know, we spend around uh, six hours on this particular topic. Yeah, Agni, I can see. I, I, I am seeing your question, uh, Agni. Uh, Agni, yeah, I am getting call from Mr. Kumar. One minute. Sorry guys. Yeah, but now it it saying that you now it could not find something for this manual correlation two over here. But however, let me go up and did, did, does it got any error over here? Any other error while downloading? But see here, everyone over here. If you remember when when we started the class, if you remember when we were exp, uh, when we were uh, executed the previous script. I mean this eBay sign signing eBay sign uh, this particular script. Which was uh, recorded uh, in the last weekend. Okay, at that time it was executed fine. Uh, it was it 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 executed uh, without any issue. I mean issue in the sense, of course, it was not correlated, but it did not find any issue like this. Now, if you observe here, basically now it is showing an error, saying that so and so step is could not download properly. Okay, so maximum time it is going to wait for 120 seconds here. Okay, it means first of all we have these kind of issues because you know if you remember. Today we started with uh, finding some uh, generic application instead of the CB application, right? So we wanted to look at uh, an application which we are working. That's the reason. Actually, it is so inconsistent. If I run, maybe in another five minutes, maybe the same script may work here. Okay. Uh, however, we'll see this uh, this thing in the next session. Okay. I mean, uh, tomorrow we'll uh, complete this, and tomorrow we'll be uh, going to start with the controller. Okay. And however, right now we have to discuss this uh, correlation rules. There will be a concept called correlation rules. Okay. Again, tomorrow we'll try to replay this script, and uh, we'll we'll see if we have any issues that need to be fixed. Okay. And then after this, we'll be discussing about correlation uh, rules. And if time allows, we'll uh, start with the uh, controller. Okay. Yep. And if you have any questions, we'll be, we'll be discussing uh, uh, questions in the next session. Emphasis provides world-class online IT training, staffing, and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Emphasis: How we are different from our competitors. 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Emphasis has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com.